This is new tonight. Mount View Elementary in Boise is preparing to say so long to a school staple. He's Mr. Jerry Ritchie. He's been a custodian there at the school for 43 years. That's right, 43. Our Tammy Tremblay went to Valley View to talk with him and some teachers and students to see just exactly the kind of impact he's had. Tammy. Hi, well, Mr. Ritchie is 66 years old. He started with the Boise School District when he was 20. After a few years at another school, he moved to Valley View, and that's where he stayed, creating relationships with staff and students decade after decade. Every day at lunch, he puts up the tables and puts them down. Okay, I guess we're ready. Hey guys. Mr. Ritchie is the lead custodian at Valley View Elementary. It's a little loud. He's been here for 43 years. Yeah, it <laughs> makes me feel really old. His job has always been to keep the school running. You know, just multiple things. He's usually taking the trash out, cleans up everyone's mess. He's fixing things. Like a bathroom faucet. My shirt was super wet and I went up to him and said, can you go fix the sink? because it squirted a couple other people too. Students also count on him to find lost retainers or rescue balls, even sneakers from the gutter. He climbed up on his ladder and he grabbed my shoe off the roof. Teachers, current and past, are full of memories as well. His kindness front and center. He would take the snowblower and plow a path from my car to my door so I wouldn't have to walk through the snow. I was kind of obsessed with pencil sharpeners and he always made sure my pencil sharpener was in great shape. And after moving to another school in the district. In walked Mr. Ritchie with my pencil sharpener and I, he's just, that's the kind of guy he is. He's just, he's thoughtful, he's kind, he's genuine. He's also the kind of person who can make you smile on a rough day. Having somebody there that makes you laugh every day um, is tremendous. He'd put like fake spiders like on her plan book and stuff just to mess around with her or his well-known Chewbacca greeting. He'll just go, you know, we're just like. A lot of times when they come down the hall, I just, instead of say good morning, I just grunt at him. He does, yeah. I have him some grunt back. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing that will be missed. Yeah, I'm gonna be sad. Because he was like one of my first friends. He's always so nice and patient. He always likes to help everyone out. Always gives a smile to every single person. I can't even describe how much I'm gonna miss him. But Mr. Ritchie promises even though he's retiring, it won't be goodbye for good. How could it be? You know, I got a lot of really nice memories. This has been his home for more than four decades. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you guys too. But I'll come back and visit you. Happy oh, I will. I'll come back and visit. All right. See, how could you not want to work in a place like this? Mr. Ritchie tells me he doesn't need to be recognized. I told him a lot of people feel differently. He really has made a difference. If you remember him and would like to say thank you, you are urged to drop off a card at Valley View. There is a mailbox by the front office for Mr. Ritchie. His last day is the 28th and this Friday, the school will hold an assembly where he will be honored. And next Wednesday, there will be a retirement party and that information is on our website, ktvb.com. I can appreciate why he doesn't want to be recognized, yes, but you know, Tammy, yeah. his story, that inspires other people that, hey, I could make a difference too. So thank you for yeah. sharing that and thank you to him for allowing us to.